okay so let's discuss about the the sap license that is called the s license p code in the s license p code we can apply the sap license here so sap softwares like sap is not the free of softwares yet we need to apply the license in service marketplace we need to download the license we have to apply it here so license part there is a cost it is included in the cost here from the sap so we they will charge the some amount for customer the means cost it is a billable i mean to say it's a billable so this one we can we can we every sap system we there is should be a license should be applied if you don't have the license in the if you don't have the license in the sap system the users are transactions will not happen in the sap system here even no one cannot log in even user side we cannot log into the sap system also if the license got expired so by default you will get the temporary license that is the so 90 days you will get the temporary license here within this 90 days you have to apply the three months i mean to say three months you will get the temporary license as a free so if this temporary license is expired or within this 90 days period we need to get the we need to get the permanent license permanent license here permanent license we have to get it out here so permanent license here so how to generate the license we have to go to the service marketplace there is a keys then there is a so systems based upon the your hardware key based upon the hardware key so based upon the hardware key so we have to generate the license here so we have to generate the license here permanent license we have to generate the permanent license here the the types of license are two types here there are the two types of licenses here one is the standard license second one is the so maintenance license here maintain maintenance license here standard license means so it is valid it is valid end of the world like 31st 12 and triple nine double nine double nine it is valid end of the so the maintenance license every three months once every three months once we need to renewal it we need to renewal it it's, it's only 90 days you will get it here every three months once we need to so renewal the renewal the so this maintenance license here right maintenance license so this license main, main license we have to renewal it here this is called the maintenance license if the lease license expired also users can log in only the maintenance activities like so uh like sap upgrades and uh, uh sap upgrades this kind of uh things we can maintenance related activities this kind of things we cannot perform in the system if the maintenance license is expired so whether spam and say you cannot perform anything if you the maintenance license is expired in the system but standard license is the one-time activity if you apply it it will be valid end of the system end of the world okay so that is the two types of you can see here one is the standard second one is the maintenance license here maintenance license here this is the types of permanent license here so so license we have to apply how to we can apply it here normally the license is based upon the so how sap will calculate or will charge it here so so they will as per my understanding so they will maybe depends upon the cpu cores depends upon the cpus are then concurrent users concurrent users how many concurrent users are logged depends upon the users so they will they will charge it here how many users are there so they will calculate from the USMM transaction code system measurement. There is a transaction code. So USMM transaction code. So they will calculate it. Normally security team will take care of the this auditing and everything here. So they will do the all the calculations and everything in the USMM. So they will go to the system measurement. So then they they will they will measure the they will measure the uh, licenses and everything here in the usmm transaction codes here right so that's the secondary that's that will take care of the security part that we don't need to worry but how to apply the license how to download the license and how to apply means we have to download from the service marketplace then once you download it we have to go to the here in the s license transaction code then 
So there is an option to install the license here. Just click on the install the new license here. Then we can install the new license in the system here. It will be applied. See here, our license is already well, uh, two days back, it's already expired maintenance license. So which means still we are able to log in. Still we are able to log in. Why? Because still we have the permanent license is valid. So we are able to log in here. So that is the, the main thing you should remember here. Okay. So small transaction code here. Just to click on the install new license. Then it will ask the, it will ask the, so the file, the license file that which you will download from the service marketplace, then we can apply it here. That is the one thing here. Okay. So uh, 